The river is Tista, flowing through the Shundarganj Upojela of Kaibandha, a northern district of Bangladesh. Many people living on the river bank have so many sad stories to tell here. This geographical location makes the area vulnerable to disasters, especially floods and river erosion. Frequent disasters make the life in this area much more difficult than the rest of the country by depriving the people of land, employment opportunities and basic service facilities. The yard that witnessed a generation has now turned into a river. There are no crop fields, no orchards. One can see nothing green here but blankness and many desert-like sandy islands. Communities are passing through series of challenges and struggling for survival. This is the real picture of chore life. But there is something different as well. Seeing is believing. It is an amazing scenario, no less than a dream. The sandy land that appeared to be barren has transformed into a green valley. From far, it is full of greenery. Anyone would be surprised to see the yield of pumpkin. The most disadvantaged farmers has made the chore land productive. Practical Action took the initiative on the ground in 2005. The goal was to improve the lives of the displaced communities or homeless people. Following some experiments under Asia-Pacific Gold Award-winning project called Disappearing Lands, it aimed to reduce vulnerability of men, women and children to the physical, social, economic and political effects of river erosion, flooding and other natural disasters in the Gaibandha district, northeast of Bangladesh. After the rainy season, practical action involved the homeless farmers in gourd farming. First, they dug soil and then put some natural fertilizers in it. After some days, they sowed the seeds of sweet gourd. Then they continued the care. Only after five months, you can see big-sized sweet gourds. In one word, the yield is excellent. It is unbelievable to many. আমাদের বহুত আর এনসিল সেই সময় এরা আসিয়া এই কংগ্রেস সাস্তা বালুসরে দিয়ে আমাদের বহুত দূর পাইয়া হইছে ইনশাআল্লাহ রেন্ট গুলো শত করার পরেও কিছু জমাজি বন্ধ রাখছি আর as the technology has been proved successful practical action took initiatives to expand it under a project of pfp shiri Presently, Practical Action in partnership with Bangladesh government, DFID or UK aid and some local NGOs is expanding the technology in four districts of Greater Rangpur. The PFP project aims to improve livelihoods of 50,550 people and increase their resilience to natural disasters and extreme poverty in four northern districts of Gaibandha, Rangpur, Nilfamari and Lalmonirhat. The extreme poor in the project are mainly assetless and displaced people living in flood protection embankments. Under the project, a pumpkin revolution has started in barren land. Our Shami Thakate Loyvar Nudi Bhanga Disi. The other part, three or four months ago, Selemiye thi. Our Shami Mara gaye thi three years ago. Who be our Durbhiro Taisna? Practical action. This is a good thing. We have to push the issue. Push the issue. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. For that, we have to make sure we are doing it. The farmers are trained and provided with fertilizer, seed and irrigation. Preparing a pit needs highest 50 taka and from each pit one can grow sweet gourds or pumpkins worth 200 to 250 taka. According to a calculation, 9,412 families have brought 1,300 hectares of chore land under cultivation since 2009. They produced 33,608 tons of sweet gourds. Each of the farmers made average profit around 450 pounds in a season. The best advantage to produce sweet gourd is that its marketing is hazard-free. Gourds can also be preserved for quite a long time and sold during rainy season. 
Chor people have included sweet gourd in the major food list. This is playing a crucial role in ensuring their household nutrition. Overall, it is helping them to manage lean season. Through its cultivation, farmers are creating personal resources. Some are buying goats and cows. Some are building houses. This project also transferring technology of floating vegetable garden, fish culture, etc. Thus, the Chor people are changing or transforming their lives with the assistance of tiny investment but for greater change. This project already started with a good success and in the near future it will create an alternative roadmap for poverty reduction and livelihood development of Bangladesh.